Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. So now we're back. And now we're back. Space. I don't uh, want to say more lyrics or we might get copyrighted. Uh, Yeah, it's also episode 71, just so you know. Fuck! But it's fine. Oh, I'll fix it. I'll fix darn it. it. I pulled the sneaky on you. You, you, did, you <laughs> no, did a lie. I didn't know regardless, but still. Uh -huh. Okay. What is up, guys? We are back. I am back with another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Ding. New mic. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to get started with shout outs this evening. And we are going to start with the man, the myth, the initial original ponytail, one Joshua Delgado. Hey, it's me. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that new mic look on Pat's face. And uh, so I just have two shout outs. Um, we all know the second one, but the first one is going to be to uh, Riley. Thank you for giving us a new component in our D&D &D game called Riley Rolls, which I will let uh, Dice Daddy explain later. So I wanted to give you a shout out. We appreciate you. And second is the classic, uh, I, th I think we all know what it is. Fuck you, Donovan. Fuck you for moving to South Carolina, but I love you. Back to you, Pat. Happy to be back, Josh. <coughs> uh, up next, we will go to the Game Master, the daddy of the dice, the man who doesn't pay his dice's child support, Justin Velez. I mean, if I don't pay, they're not real. Uh, learned that from an old friend, my own dad. Uh, so... <laughs> Hey, Tony. So, uh, hey, what's up, Tony? Um, so usually I wanted to go through my usual spiel, but it's been three weeks, so I kind of wanted to just do cliff notes, uh, just keywords. So uh, shout out to <clears throat> Tapatio, Roll20, Eggs, David Hemingway, Butt Stuff, Staying Inside, PBR, Twizzlers, Time Off, New Mike, New Mike's Wife for Playing With Us, Riley Rolls, Fuck Donovan, I'm Gonna Die Alone, Sparklers. Yay, sparklers! I like, I like sparklers. Yeah, you gotta end it on a high note. I don't think some of those things were real. I also don't about? think. <laughs> Top of I've never heard of this. Butt stuff? What's that? I, Pat's wife, who's that? I don't know, I kind of blacked out. Are you guys okay? <laughs> like, what year is it? Is it still Halloween? 1989. <gasps> Fuck! I went back in the past! Oh, no! I got a great idea for a song. It's called Stacy's Mom. <gasps> Fuck, I don't even know a Stacy, <laughs> but we're going to look for her mom. Um, got to find out if she's got it going on. I, I will explain That's Riley Rolls song. after all of our announcements, uh, but back to you, Pat. Up next, we have our art master, his self. Carlos. That's me. Uh, I want <laughs> I'm going to give a shout out to Random Encounter Productions, uh, which is the other D&D group that I play with. Uh, I play with them on Monday nights, which is their Disasters and Dangers. However, they have content almost every single night. You can check them out at REPRPG. Sorry, I felt something brush up against my leg and I didn't know there was a cat in here. Um, they're at RPG, R wait, REPRPG on Twitch, Twitter, all sorts of social media, whatnot. Check them out. They're good people. Back to you, Pat. And we will wrap up tonight's announcements by the people that aren't me with the man in blue, but is always the sunshine of our life. Mike Spillane. Oh, bitch. So nice. Um, make sure that you guys uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Junk Drawer Show. Subscribe to us on YouTube at The Junk Drawer Show. Follow or subscribe to us on Twitch at The Drunk Drawer Show. And then we're also on TikTok at The Drunk Drawer Show. So check out all that stuff. Um, also, uh, two shout outs because it's been a while since we played. Like we've kind of barely been played since my birthday. Uh, so I need to go ahead and D&D &D related things that I was given. Shout out to You Are Wizards uh, for this awesome gemstone yeet and fuck dice. Uh, fuck is the one, of course. Uh, that Josh gifted to me. I very much appreciated. And then shout out to White Wolf Laboratories, I believe it was, uh, who made this awesome, like, druid-themed 3D-printed stein for tall boys. Uh, very much appreciative of that. And then uh, lastly, 
I'm going to steal one out of Pat's book today. Uh, I just want to go ahead and give a shout out to uh, my uh, lovely girlfriend, Mal. Uh, we just celebrated our seventh anniversary uh, this past weekend. So, um, yeah, really excited about it. Love her very much. Congratulations. Back to you, Pat. Thanks. Uh, so I will round out our shout outs, as I often do, uh, by first shouting out my very pregnant wife. Uh, and just thank her for allowing me to play Imagination with you guys. I also would like to shout out uh, the New York Football Giants. Go fuck yourselves. Um, and fire Dave Gettleman, please. Hey, so, Pat, uh, you were telling me, didn't you want the Giants to beat the pallbearers at your funeral? I did, so that they could let me down one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the setup, buddy. No problem. Uh, that worked out real well. <laughs> With all of that being said, I am very excited. It's been a while for me personally. So without any further ado, Dice Daddy, whenever you're ready. Okay. So first and foremost, let's talk Riley Rolls. Riley Rolls are uh, Josh's lovely, lovely daughter uh, rolling a D20 for us and essentially taking those numbers and randomly distributing them amongst the party, which we've already done pre-stream. And these are essentially the same feat as a, I want to say it's either a luck, like there's a certain wizard that can do this at the beginning of every morning, which is they roll a D20 and then they can replace uh, any roll with that D20. So with Riley rolls, essentially, if you have an 18, for example, and you need to, essentially make a really good high uh, roll on a check. You can uh, roll your dice. If it doesn't come out favorable, you can use a Riley roll. It will expend that, and uh, when they run out, we'll have Riley roll again for us. Uh, so just something fun, cool, new, interactive, uh, very cute. Thank you, Mike, for the name, because uh, I originally called them Riley dice because alliteration is not my strong suit. Um, with that, back... Uh, so, I always forget. So, last time we're all together, uh, you had made it to Falsera with the very uh, morose and very shaky Dremel. Uh, and the four of you, uh, not deciding to tell Alder, uh, split up, essentially. Uh, Alder brought Dremel to Dr. Ashford's lab, which is this massive subterranean uh, hangar, essentially, that's under the beach that... Um, is supporting this giant rocket that he's making so you guys can get to the moon. Said he's about 27% there, so you do have some time. He also was tracking down some very interesting things that you guys could look into, uh, which Alder has the knowledge of. Meanwhile, Loki and Falk kind of had a shopping spree. They went around, they uh, got some pellets of dust, they got uh, other things like scrolls and items um Rons. and they spent money um so essentially they they spent but we didn't have our wonderful all right guy thor with us so thor we uh spoke a little bit off stream uh you had gone to several different shops and would you like to announce to the party what you got uh, da -da -da -da. No, I'd like to keep it to myself. Uh, fuck you guys. <clears throat> oh, man, it's like I haven't seen you in forever. You're still a dick. Uh, no, I got uh, the Iron Stone of Protection. I've got the gloves of uh, swimming and climbing. I got a bead of force. I have a javelin of lightning. That's what I got. Why lightning? Bringing that back from campaign one. It's gonna. It's a little uh, different than that, though. Justin and I talked about it a little bit. I have the ability to charge it up because of you know lightning hands, so it's a little does, different than that one. But no, not a lot. He Slight. does have to charge it, and it activates by saying "gay lightning" now, because <laughs> we support the LBGTQ community here. That's true. So, <laughs> Thor, fuck. <laughs> Stupid. Um, as you are, <laughs> let me get back into it. Um, so this Metropolis of Falsera, this is your first real foray into something that you would have the equivalent of Asgard in its prime. 
it's bustling. There are, are people walking about and uh, there is music that people are playing on the corner and there are there's just this kind of bright air about it. There are carts and these giant skyscrapers that are made of metal and glass. It almost reminds you of the opals and marbles that Asgard was made of. And uh, essentially there are it's a rustle and bustle town. So what what do you want to do, my guy? Well, it's your uh, oyster. Shuck it. After uh, this is post shopping, right? I went and got yes. all the things I needed. You need, have like so... two Victoria's Secret pink bags. Sweet. I love stuff. it. Um, so I'm going to kind of stop someone on the street. Um, I have two bags, but they are in only in one hand because I can only carry things in one hand because okay. the other one's gone. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sad slide whistle noise. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I would stop someone on the street and just be like, uh, "Excuse me, do you know where the closest place is that I could get uh, a shave, a haircut, you know, a bath, some anywhere?" Yes. Um, well, there are. Uh, you, you kind of um, stop this older kind of human gentleman, and he goes. Yes, um, there are a few. Um, I believe the closest is going to be the fluffy sheep. Okay. What um, about the quietest? Which one's going to be the quietest? The quietest. I would like um, some contemplation, some time to sit to myself. You definitely don't want to go to the upset piano. They play terrible music. Um, we should burn that place to the ground. Um, I mean, terrible. I mean, who am I? I don't play music, so uh, I would say um, the quietest would be, I believe, the careful river. Most okay. of it is uh, it's in the religious district, so temples and uh, essentially it's just this big kind of wading pool. So I believe that's probably your best bet, which is about that way, a few blocks. It's a grid system, so you really can't get lost. Uh, you're going to want to go here, and if you pass um, uh, the smoldering rubble that was Ashford's Industries, you've gone too far. Oh, yeah, I've, I've heard about Ashford and, and that incident, very upsetting. Uh, thank you thing. for for your time, uh, and I'm going to give him five gold pieces for his time. Oh, and thank you. And um, I'll kind of put the bags down because... <clears throat> What I realize is that I have the bag of holding uh, in my possession. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to load it up with the stuff that I got. Um, okay. And it's isn't it a fanny pack? So I'll kind yeah. of attach it you're to like, my waist. Zip. And uh, you just see this giant javelin just getting Mary Poppins into this fanny pack? Into your crotch? Just... Yeah. At one point it gets stuck and everyone's just kind of looking at you yeah. and you're like, it's because it's, it's one arm, too. You're like, it's fine. Wait. Don't look at me. I can't finish when you do that. <laughs> or look right at me. Look Don't. into my soul. <laughs> Happy New Year. Um, uh, yeah. And then I'll swing the hammer and just kind of go towards, not as not as fast as I can, but just kind of quicker than I was moving before. Um, yeah. And, I, and I'll try cover, and find. I'll say as you lift off, um, you do get the occasional stare, like look and you get the occasional clap you hear kids like oh my god a flying man um but it doesn't seem to be like a hot commodity like it's not unheard of so you're not freaking anyone out which is good cool. um didn't think about that so that's good <laughs> uh this is a place where adventurers go to unwind and do shit and it's right. just you know if you can make it here you can probably make it anywhere I oh don't my god know. i feel like hercules but I don't because I'm better Hercules. than him. Hercules. Fuck that guy. You're a little smarter than him. <laughs> he means well, though. T-R-O-H. Uh, not in that order. Not in that order. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you do kind of scan and um, careen around, going across these kind of skyscrapers, looking into the windows. You see the different levels of worship, and you see different levels of, at one point, a brothel, a very tall one, and it's kind of awesome. Um, just different kind of industries and you see occasionally like people like bookkeeping and doing paperwork and 
you know, you do like a, well, you can't do the salute, but you do like the head of nod. You're like, saw, dude. And at one point, one guy just goes, <laughs> and you're like, he's cool. I like uh, that guy. Like that guy. We'll get a Whip beer. Uh, <laughs> actually, you recognize this man. It's Randy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> it's canon. It's actually Randy. Uh, he just looks super pumped. He's like, dude, your arm. <laughs> That's my friend. And he's like banging on the glass. And they're like, Randy, please stop. <laughs> Um, eventually you do find the religious district. You can tell by the different cathedrals and, uh, the, this is your, because it is a more, um, metropolis, like Russell and bustle town. It's kind of like the Walmart of religious figures. So you have your like really well-known figures. You have, I, uh, I, you have, um, um, Fuck. Oh. Helm, you have uh, Tear, you have Soon, you have well, Soon is kind of like okay, the Temple of Soon is essentially the equivalent of those Las Vegas drive through weddings because you can go in and you can literally go like I want to get married and they're like dope, sign here <laughs> All right. um, which one's Soon again? Soon is uh, the lady of love and prosperity and growth. And that is Creed's patron and their avatar. Creed's. Creed. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of the well-known. And eventually you do see like a very, it looks very humble. It is a very large kind of building. You do see that there is a little sheep outside of it like a little wooden painted sheep it's kind of inlaid with like gold paint and says the uh the uh sorry it's not the sheep i'm sorry it's the river um so scratch that instead of the fluffy sheep it is a wandering and winding like river that it looks like it kind of swirls and it's um artisanal but uh you do see the careful river cool so i will uh, land and kind of walk inside and look around and see if I can attract someone's attention. So there are a few things. Um, there's like a little desk and there is a mousy kind of young half elf woman, uh, blonde hair that's kind of shaggy and I would say almost like shaggy pixie cut and uh, just looks very pleasant as you come in and she goes, hi, welcome to the careful river. Hello. Uh, do I have to whisper? Is that a... Uh, I have oh, to, no, so. you don't have to have uh, whisper. It's just um, most like to meditate. And of course, the hustle and bustle of outside, we try to give a more tranquil experience, a less um, erratic experience. Okay. Just the uh, do you Do you have any uh, patrons here currently? Is that I'm going to kind of like poke my head behind her and see if I see anyone in the in the area at the moment. Um, and she kind of goes and she looks through. There are a few patrons. There are a few that are finishing up. And um, I'm assuming you would want to have a soak. Um, I understand wanting to be alone. Fairly wide pool. Um, the only other person that got here maybe about 10 minutes before. Um, one other person. Okay, uh, if I give you 500 gold, will you not allow another soul to come through that door until I, I leave? I most certainly can do that. Perfect. And I will give her 510 gold and tell her to keep the 10 for herself. Buy yourself something nice. There is, I will say, uh, for inspiration, there is a coat hanger like a <laughs> that you can, if you want to put me on there, there you can. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll, I'll hang it up, uh, and I'll look at her and I'll just be like, uh, I would also, if we could arrange uh, a trimming of the the beard and a, a, a haircut would be lovely. Yes, of course. Uh, I will get um, once the maidens uh, refill and put in. The hot water. Uh, yes, I'll most certainly get that arranged for you, Mr. Uh, J Donna is fine. Donna. Yes, Mr. Donna. I'm going to write that down so we have that here. And um, I will be uh, escorting people out and closing shop. 
Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll walk back to a, a, an abandoned, quiet area and slowly start to undress and get into the, okay. the pool. Okay. As you kind of get into the pool, you see that there are people that are coming out. There is just one person, one gentleman, who is at the far end of the pool. Uh, he currently has, like, one of those hot rags over his face, so you can't really mm -hmm. see it. You do see that there are tufts of, like, brown and graying beard hair. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of, like, lounging like this. And um, you see that he is just covered in scar tissue. Like, thick scar tissue. You can see, like, it is different levels from his skin. He's also covered in just what you can equivalent because you were in Stoneward prison tattoos as well. And he's just kind of like, <clears throat> so he's not. Do I, do I get a, like a, a race from him? Do I, does he look orcish? Does he look elven? Uh, he looks human. Uh, okay. Just, he has a, I would say, think, um, I don't want to say Norwegian because not that like whitish red pigmentation. Um, think of it more like uh, slightly UK. There is a slight like tinge of dark, like olive, but not mm -hmm. to the extent of like he's olive skinned. Okay, got it. Uh, well, I'll like clock him and just be aware. Okay. So he, you know. As you're kind of like setting in, the water is nice. It's fragrant. It has um, essentially lavender oil in it. So it has this nice kind of smell to it. It's not overpowering, but it's definitely relaxing and soothing. Like there's a reason why it's the, you know, the calming river. Right. Careful river. Sorry. Um, look. So, yeah, there's a reason why it's the careful river. It's this very nice, calming kind of thing. And as you hear, you know, the stillness of the water, occasionally you'll hear someone getting out to disrobe, to, to re-robe and leave as uh, the young lady from the front is escorting everyone out. Um, and eventually you have these two, um, I would say maybe in their 40s, young women that... Um, kind of come and one has shears and one has a straight razor and both of them kneel to the other sides of you as your back is kind of against the wall and they're like donna we're here for um your haircut and shave would you prefer this now or would you prefer this 20 minutes 30 minutes we're all about your experience here uh no uh, we can <clears throat> we can uh, do it now it's fine okay and there is, are you doing anything different from the last time or you're just straighten everything up, straighten up? everything up, clean it up. Um, I want, uh, yeah, just the same as last time. Okay. So it becomes this kind of meditative, um, you hear the, the snipping of the scissors, cutting the hairs and you can actually feel one of the uh, maiden's hands under that's catching the hair and you hear it being placed in a towel nearby. You get lined up very nicely and it's overall just a very nice light experience. Uh, I would, uh, before they left, I would grab a, uh, I would hop out of the pool and grab, uh, I guess, five pieces of gold for each of them, uh, and hand that to them as a, as a tip. You do. Uh, they're very gracious. They maintain eye contact with you, and they're, um, yeah, just very gracious to to have you. And as you kind of dip back into the um, the pool, you see the rag slightly up, and uh, you just hear a. Nudity is not a uh, concern for you, huh? Modesty. Ah. Uh, no. Where, where I come from, it's it's not as taboo, I guess. Yes, where I come from as well. Not very taboo, but most people here are so prudish. Cover their pickle and they cover their gawk and their ball. We've all seen it. It's fine. You can literally look underneath the water and I can look right now. And you see him and he dips under and he goes, 
there's too much lavender. It actually stung. Yeah, I I wouldn't have done. Yeah, it it's fine. I I, I get the sentiment. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Just uh, nice to see another uh, adventurer. Look at you. You're covered in the scars, bruises. You have uh, air about you. It's uh, not not every day. Uh, so, once again, sorry, sorry. I put no. You're you're fine. Uh, you're you're an adventurer. Ex, uh, I would say ex adventurer. Um, I've kind of set my feet here for uh, quite a little bit, but uh, I have no permanent place of home. So uh, just enjoying my time while I can. Uh, where, where will the wind, winds take you next, friend? Uh, that is uh, that is a perfect question, but I miss... You know what I miss? And you see him and he kind of gets up and he's kind of hunched over. And it's at this point you can kind of see he he's older, like... I would say 40s, like 45, 46, almost 50, large. Uh, I would say he's not like shredded or ripped, but he's solid, just solid muscle, little flabby. Um, when he kind of shifts, you do see he has a fucking gut. He just has a gut, uh, more of this scar tissue, and you see that his hair is slightly balding on the top, but... It, it maintains kind of throughout a little bit long. And he has these kind of blue eyes that uh, look at you that are sparkling with excitement. And he has this kind of very long scar that goes against the bridge of his nose that kind of cooks up. And he goes, uh, you see, uh, I, I miss green. When I was uh, younger, a uh, much younger pup in my time. I used to spend all the time in the forests and amongst the ferns and pine trees and listening to the wildlife. It was, um, sometimes I miss it. I've been uh, all over. I've been Chessex Desert. Uh, I've been here, which is just, everything is man-made, slightly feel like artificial. Does that make sense? does uh <clears throat> it makes a lot of sense i get it i've i've uh actually spent a lot of time on the water recently so it's nice but uh i could understand how it would get uh old pretty quick yes yes so exactly you understand uh was on boats for a short time in the younger years but most uh definitely it's uh there is no finer place right now than Falsera. I mean, everything is bustling. Unfortunately, second largest metropolis was a uh, Valoria, and that has been leveled, as you know. Um, Chessex isn't too bad. Uh, lots of pickpockets. I definitely have uh, lost money, uh, but they did collect a few hands too, so that's good. I, I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch your name, friend. Uh... Um, what do I call you? Uh, and he goes, uh, oh, Privet, uh, my name is uh, Ivanov. You can call me Ivan for short. Uh, much appreciated, Ivan. Uh, yeah, I, I heard you mention Valoria there. Uh, I, I've only heard whispers. Uh, do, we, do we have any idea what happened there? or Whispers? You must be. Uh, you must have been on boat for a very long time, huh? You just yeah, got in, I guess. Quite some time. Well, they say. And he kind of like crouches forward, like he's telling a, a kid like a bedtime story. Really excited. So, about three months ago, three half months, Valoria is a bustling city, full of people, full of love. It is full of royalty. The uh, great great granddaughter of a storm king of Odin she lived there of course you know Queen Anya did it and you see him and he doesn't know what the fuck he's blessing to because he right. doesn't yeah. he's like uh, so a portal open an outcome massive giants made of stone and fire and magma completely leveling Viloria. Queen Anya 
Unfortunately, body has gone missing, so she is presumed dead. Uh, her uh, captain of the guard, um, uh, Yonagul, um, uh, little, uh, he's um, Lysander, Lysander, Lysander. Uh, he is currently uh, running both militia and operating out of Valoria. Valoria is very uh, vulnerable at the moment, but it is currently wasteland. No one wants to go Valoria. Uh, but we believe that there was lightning in sky and we think one of Odin's son come down and push fighter giants back into portal because they're no longer there but then ah, finit wow I uh warriors like you and I imagine if we were there we got to participate in a, a battle like that it doesn't look like you Run from any battles in your time. Oh, no. There are um, some are battles, some are uh, crimes of passion. Uh, definitely this one. And you see there's like a giant bite mark. And he goes, it was my uh, youngest son. Um, Feral. Good kid, though. Uh, they often are. Well, uh, Ivan. Yes. You, uh, you've given me much information. Greatly appreciate you. Uh, is there anything I can do for you here? Is there something I can purchase for you? You know, I feel like we've made, uh, made a nice friendship here. I would like, uh, let's do this. First, I also would like to know your name. And we split a uh, bottle of wine. You tell me adventures on sea and I tell you about the golden years. If you don't mind the company, of course. Oh no, of course. It's been a, it's been a while since I've I've met someone that, again. I was on a ship with the same people for what felt like forever. Uh, yes. And some of those people turned out to not be who I thought they were. <clears throat> but you know, that's part of life, I guess. Uh, well, looks can be deceiving. Yeah. And he points at another, and it looks like it's a stab wound that scarred over. And he goes, "First thanks, wife." Yeah, they always get you that those ones. Uh, yeah, I'd love to, to split a bottle and, and share some stories, and I'll, I'll gesture over to one of the the maidens that's probably floating around. Yeah, and they're very attentive. A, they're they're not too far away. They're just yeah. And you you bring her over. I'll ask for two two bottles of wine. And he goes, ugh, man after my own heart. You might be third ex-wife. If I play my cards right. Oh please, uh, go ahead and make a perception check. First roll of the night. I'm going to use my Riley roll. <laughs> already, because that was a three. Riley roll. Riley, Riley roll. roll. Riley roll. Uh, Make sure. would, would you say it was a perception? You know what? Do uh, insight. Those are the same for me. Fifteen. Fifteen. Total. So it's not. So as he kind of gets closer, he there's like a nice little distance apart because he was over there. You were almost, I wouldn't say shouting, but talking loudly, but he's right. kind of like swam over. He's walked over. You see the gut, man. Uh, but yeah, you see more of these just scars and these um, kind of prison tattoos. And you see that there are different names that you would assume that are written in a language you do not uh, comprehend. Um, it just might be the region where he's from. Um, and yeah, he's just done over with uh, multiple scar tissue, but he's very, very pleasant. Uh, I will introduce myself as Donna again. He takes the your good hand, obviously. Grasps the forearm. The one I have, yeah. <laughs> Grasps the forearm. He has a sh like firm grip. And he goes, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Donna. Ah, so tell me, how was it for the last three months on your boats? And with that, we're going to, we're going to go over to, um, did you, all three of you reconvened, right? Because I believe it was Alder and Danny Dorvito hanging out on a wall. And the two of you had just came like regrouped. That's right. Because me and Danny go way back from combat training. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so it's the five. I forgot about that. 
I, I, I don't know if you looked at the Discord, but I put in all caps, I forgot about Danny Dorvito. I know, I, I recall. Frick. Um, so he's kind of uh, just, you know, you guys are like catching up and shit, uh, talking about his whole wife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> dropping Magnum Dong. What is it? Monster condoms for his Magnum Dong. You know, the, the Frank Reynolds shit. The typical um, stuff. Same old, same old. And you see Loki and Thok and Tipperin come back with their own Victoria Pink secret packs full of stuff. Look at all the things I got. I hold up the bag and I start, as I see them, I start like picking up the pace a little bit. Looking back like, are you following? Are you following? I don't care. Look at what I got. <laughs> what do you Very get for me? Exciting. I got you a very important lesson in joining your friends on adventures. Um, you do recall why I wasn't with you, right? No. Your friend's kind of a douchebag. Well aware of that. Um, no, I, I had to take Dremel to Ashford, remember? You guys all kind of ditched on me. I believe you. Look at the stuff I got. And I start going into the bag. And I start pulling out the uh, the dust, the dust of dryness, um, these gloves of thievery, immovable rod, a filter of love, and a bunch of uh, healing potions. I have things now. I have roots. We went shopping. I, I gathered that. That's good. Mm-hmm. We well, could all use the release, I guess. Well, it seems like you're having fun here. Are, I mean... Are we drinking? Is that... Wait. Out of, like, oh, are no, you... we definitely... You see that they have bottles in their hands. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. Small. Are we drinking? I mean... We are. We're, we're buddies catching up. Yeah, I mean... Are we drinking? Am I fucking four foot six? <laughs> yes, uh, I am. Glad you said so that because I drinking. don't know heights. Another round. Yikes. And Loki All buys right. a round for the five of them. <clears throat> so, yeah, there is an outdoor, like, tavern vendor that they have these kind of, like, um, almost equivalent to, like, Oktoberfest girls. They just have big signs of fucking beer and ale going around. And, yeah, you buy uh, some big burly mugs for some big burly fellas. Big and Tibran. Hmm. He's like, can He's I have burly. a very dry martini, please? <laughs> I need liquor. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Uh, just buff boys. Yeah, just the bubble bubble boys. Am I right? And bu -bu 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 -bu. like, yeah, can't wait. Um, yeah. So the five of you are kind of convening, uh, catching up. Um. Are you guys talking about anything in particular? Because a lot of things happened last last time we were together. Yeah. Um, I was just kind of waiting for the right moment to be like, so we're going to need to get to work on some things here soon. We like... Well, so obviously I had to get Ashford on board with doing all of this stuff for us. So in order to do that, I kind of let him know a little bit of what was going on. And um, he uh, decided that it, it made sense for him to kind of just put an ear out and see if he heard anything weird going on. Um, and in doing that, he found some really weird things happening um, that seem like they could be could be apocalyptic. Oh. That we it, it might be in our best interest to try and try and help with. It might give us some answers while he's still working because he's still got a, a ways to go until this is ready considering like something like this has never existed before so so it sounds like we need more drinks 
Yes. Yes. I mean, you literally just ordered around, so yeah, there's more drinks on the way, but. I'll say there, there was like a lull between that. <laughs> okay. Round. Like a few rounds yeah. have gone like by every time that you're like, maybe we should calm down. And Danny Dorfito's like, hey, do you remember that time that we snuck over to the other bunk and uh, we essentially just, you know, made everyone eat a, the equivalent of a shit sandwich? It wasn't a real shit sandwich, but it was funny. I do recall that. Um, while this is going on, um, I'm going to be uh, sl- not not actually... Uh, I'm going to be like kind of like faking my drinks. So you're just kind of like nursing it. Like no one's calling you out on it or anything like that. But, you know, Danny's just like... Gwah. No, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm testing something. Um, mm-hmm. So... <laughs> but I, I'm basically kind of like more so peering through to Loki like you know, making sure that, you know, kind of, kind of going over the different things that, you know, all of the fish dying in the fishing colony, kind of going over all of the different things. Um, I'm looking over my, my notes. Um, so the fish aren't dying. I'll clarify that the everything that is being ported over there is getting essentially sunken and there have been no um there's been no trade in this very you know uh i understand my note better now (laughs) i understand my notes a little bit better now there you go yeah um then uh, the the farmer town farmer town that's uh to the north decimated um and i wrote that way too fast um (laughs) But that there's, was it large something in the mountain? Uh, Some shrieking in the mountain. Shrieking, yeah. Sounds. And I said you, screeches. There were uh, essentially just forests that are being leveled. Yeah. By something like, big. Like, like, can drink all you want on this, but there's some very real shit that we're going to need to try and help with. So I need to right. make sure that you everyone's heads in the game obviously we got to catch up with Thor let him know what's going on too but uh, it just sounds like until until we get up there things are just going to continue to get hotter until we get this done they tell you like the forest was leveled by something like humanoid big or like a creature big or the only thing that he said is that it was huge so I don't know more than that. So something's leveling a forest, sinking a bunch of ships, and what was the third? As Loki um, takes another drink. Well, there was the something else that was kind of happening. Uh, what's this? Uh, oh well, uh, um, the other thing I can't remember. I, I honestly can't read my own notes on it. I was drinking I think... the last time we played. Oh, the Raven Queen offerings. Um, the Raven Queen offerings being discarded by a shadowy figure. Um, there was another thing about an orc tribe, but he said that seemed to have handled itself. Um, I don't know much about that. He kind of skipped over it. But the other thing was uh, offerings to the Raven Queen being taken and disposed of by a shadowy figure. Don't really know much about it, but... I kind of look over to Thok and I'd be like, I feel like you might maybe be familiarized with something. I don't know much about religion, but I feel like you've dealt with people that deal with the Raven Queen. I have, actually. I have one particular friend who follows the Raven Queen. I haven't talked to him in, what, a few months now? I think was the last time. I mean, so... could be worth it to try and reach out, see if he knows anything, but... I don't know what seems like the most pressing. I just know that if there's something interfering with the Raven Queen, uh, I'm not great with the religion shit, but if there's something interfering with the Raven Queen and it's causing problems within the dichotomy of religion, it sounds like something that we might need to try and get ahead of. We are I'm going to have to repeat all this when Thor gets back, but it, it's got to be said because this shit sounds serious. We already know what's been fucking with the Raven Queen, though. 
Manu. Like that's that's the man, man Manu tap or however he wants to call himself. Death. So do you think that that it's shadowy just... figure might be Manu tap? He's not been following you anymore. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen him in a long Manu. time. Also, where to take happy drinks and turn them into sad drinks? <laughs> to be fair. You did. You get. You, you you did currently get your your shopping spree, and you had a fun day. You guys kind of left me behind for it, so. You were busy. Oh, you had to go to Ashford's. You guys learned... didn't invite me. You ran off, because and I, I was you babysitting. I knew you had to go. We were excited. We all said we were going together, and you guys just ditched me. So like, whatever. Moving I on. I didn't want to put you in the predicament. Whatever. You're right. You're right. I'm right. You're wrong. I got it. Go on. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, the glass that Alder is using, and I'm gonna with the frost on the glass draw a smiley face <laughs> and give it back. And I'm like, it's a happy drink. Take it. Yay! It's a new spell I learned. Bullshit. I cast inebriate. <laughs> no. What level? Nine. First off, that's not a spell. It is now. You're so drunk. You're, you're so hey, drunk. Hey, you hey I'll, I'll tell you something, all right? <clears throat> you don't tell me anything about how to run my family of birds. I lean over to Thok and say, <laughs> it's not a real spell. I made it up. Yeah, I know, you idiot. Insane. Thank you. <laughs> I thought you put some of that uh, stuff I gave you. Wait, you guys got some... Um... <laughs> Danny, Danny, not now. No, but if you know where to Hold get on some. One second. Last, last time, Aldo was in town. Like when we were like younger, we got into some stuff. Motherfucker turned into a giant fucking bear and just started punching shit. So about this stuff, where can we find? Aldo was cool. Was it a bear? I don't know. Everything's like really tall to me. Was it a bear? Was it what was it? What do you turn into? Was it the hawk? Thanks, Did I think Thanks. the hawk was a bear? Thanks, I don't know. Danny. It was fucking shit faced. Yeah, sorry. What? Oh, I'm embarrassing him. I'm embarrassing him. It was a bear, Danny. Hell oh, yeah, fuck yeah, it was a bear. <laughs> Guys. Punch, punch the kid straight in the dick. <laughs> That was his friend, too. Oh, that sounds like all the punching people in the dick who don't deserve it. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. So, um, about this fishing colony. Tell me more. Well, I mean, it's... I, I don't know if the fishing colony is necessarily the one that... I, I mean, we're going to have to all probably sober up and talk together to figure out which thing we need to go take care of first. So, what I'm hearing is that what we're talking about now, we shouldn't be talking about now. And what we should be doing, and he pulls up his drink, is more of this. Because Thor's not here, and we are here, and we need Thor to talk about the things we're going to do. So we need more of this to do more of this, because that isn't here, and this is there. And... I'm fucking with you guys. I'm totally sober. So, yes, I think we should wait until Thor gets here because we need to discuss as a group. Um, in the meantime, Alda, you got that happy drink. And he kind of pushes it towards him. You got that? You got that happy drink? To, to happy drinks. And he takes a big swig. There he is. All right, so who wants to play uh, Coppers? Coppers. I'm always down for a game of coppers. Hell yeah. Loki guy. All there. How do you play? Oh my god. I have to. There is so much, you young lamb, that I have to teach you now. All right. All right. Say, Dan, Danny, you sure you want to play coppers against me again? Yeah, you know, I've been really working on my stuff and, uh, you know, I've been really aiming and, you know, putting things in glasses with, you know, a coin. And, yeah, shut the fuck up. Let's play. And he gets up and the table's like this to him. 
He's like, I'm going to need like a book. Smash cut. We'll go back I over need a to <laughs> big fucking book, Danny. He needs like a, a phone book. We got like one of those sending message books. We got a old and new Testament combined with uh, pictures. Then they got the new Testament. Old wasn't good enough for him. Um, smash cut back to the careful river. Uh -huh. Okay. Careful river. Uh, Yvonne uh, is in the middle of this uh, story that he's uh, talking about. Then he goes, it was me and the Dawn Hunters. We were looking each other dead in the eye and I said, there's only one way that you are leaving here and that is in a coffin that I have made. Uh, I was very mouthy. Like, it was a lot of words. I could have said something like dead. Uh, you know, hindsight's, uh, you know, twenty twenty. But, uh, yeah, no, I got out of there in the coffin. Really nice, really nice coffin. Uh, I mean, as long as you got out in the lap of luxury, then I think you're the winner at the end of the day, you know? Yeah. No, I'm really good at faking being dead. Oh, I mean, that is a skill that will pay for itself over and over again, Playing in my opinion. Playing possum is a very acquired skill. Some people have to use magic. I do not. I am not uh, what they call, and he does like this, a magic man. I mean, could have fooled me. You are being kind, and I appreciate your modesty. Hey, and you said you weren't modest. Then he gives you like a little pat on the chest. You know, uh, Ivan, I'd love to get your opinion on something. Oh, yes, please. This seems like uh, serious business, Frau Browsferold. Oh, no. Um, just... You... You seem like a man who is proud of where he comes from. Would I be correct in that assessment? Yes, I'm very proud of uh, my lineage, my family, where I come from. Yes. Right. If, let's say, you left home and when you left home your brother was the one that was in charge if something happened to your home and you found out your brother didn't try and protect it the way he should have what would you do that is um that is a very tough question only because um my, um, and he kind of puts hands on his chest, hand on your chest. Tribe, I think is a common word for. Um, we do things differently. Um, most would akin it to barbarian. Um, if I had found that my tribe had been slaughtered and it was my blood that didn't try to protect, It may seem harsh, but his head would be on the spike. And I love my brother. Family is very important. But, you know, there is saying that everyone get wrong. And that is uh, the blood is thicker than water, yes. However, a full quote is the blood of the covenant is thicker in the water of wound. Essentially, the people that you bring in as family, your people, your tribe, that means a lot more than the person that um, came before or after you as far as uh, life. Does that make sense? Oh, no, I lost you. No, no, I was just deep in thought. Um, I'm not saying go extreme and kill... Uh, Hypothetical. I'm assuming you and I'm assuming hypothetical brother. And he looks around. He's like, we are not admitting anything for legal reason. This is all hypothetical. <laughs> right. I'm we not are. saying kill brother, but um, I would definitely beat the shit out of him at least. Yeah, I, um, I kind of am struggling with that internally. But I, uh, I appreciate the insight nonetheless. It was uh, it was very nice. Where did you say you were? 
you were from. Yeah. Very, um, very far away. Um, I miss I'm, it. I miss I'm interested it. In, in this tribe you you were talking about. I just kind of wanted to see if I'd, I'd ever been where you are from. And he just kind of smiles and he goes, it's a sad smile. And he goes, you know, I've been looking for it for a very long time. That is why I, uh, I wonder. It was, um, I wouldn't say it was most beautiful, murky, dark, cold. But the forest, where me and my people, we lived, we strived, we protected one another from all the figur figurative, that is uh, the word, yes? Yes. Figurative, uh, all the uh, the bad things, uh, the monsters, the, uh, the animals. It was... Um... And he looks at you and he goes, it was my home. Uh, and it is... Uh... For all that I know now, gone. Which is, I am perfectly fine because I know it's there. And I know my family and my tribe are happy. Go ahead and make another inside check. Let's use the other dice this time. Ew. Uh, 16. 16. Actually, you're getting a closer look at these scars. And you do see the, like the bites and the and the stab wounds, and you look at the one across his uh, bridge, and go ahead and make a medicine check for me. Four. Um, I mean it's very pale old scar, so you can assume that it, it's a very old old scar. It's an old scar. Old scar. But um. He goes, ah, but that is enough of my blabbering. Uh, I've been uh, here uh, the last uh, 10 years and I've uh, just been wandering like nomad, which my, th my tribe was mostly nomad. We were like more nomads, so not out of ordinary, but your forests, see, they don't have the same feel like the earth is different that makes sense yeah it does i see like there is pain in your eye that you have far away home as well oh yeah um i was there recently it's not it's not what it was so well it can be no worse than valoria I guess it couldn't be. You look sad again. <laughs> was it was it Valoria? Were you from? Oh, my oh, big dick. No. Oh no! I'm, can we have another bottle of wine? Because I'm a huge no, asshole. No. <laughs> uh, it, I'm I'm not from Valoria. No. Uh, Ooh, but still, bottle of wine because I am still asshole. It's quite all right. Uh, That's my treat. This has been the most fun I've had in years. So. You are going to settle here in Falsera. That's where you're going to take up your residence for an extended period of time? I've been here for a few months, uh, about four or five. Um, don't know. I've been all over. Uh, just trying to find that, uh, that tribe feeling, that home, you know. Uh, do I get any weird feelings about Ivan? Do I get any feeling that he would have been, uh, wouldn't have been genuine with me at any point during this conversation? Um, you can go ahead. I'll have you roll, um, two insight checks through your, your time together. Okay. One is meh and the other one is a little less meh. Uh, the first one's a 10. Mm -hmm. 
and the second one's a 14. Okay. I would say throughout, of course, he embellishes a little mm-hmm. bit, you know, like uh, me against like 20 men. Yeah. I, I but, just meant more along the lines of like, is he a bad person? I know. You're looking for something sinister and mm-hmm. there's like, I will say there's a tinge of darkness, but it's not something that's um, malevolent. Like, maybe it's from when he was sad, or there's that tinge of, like, missing his home, but he's been genuine this entire time. He's been very excited. Um, Obviously, he has a checkered past between the prison tattoos and all of the all of the scars he has shown you the different tattoos and once again they're in that language but he says you know he shows you that there's one for his daughter that's a rose and there's another one that's under it that looks like a uh two kind of like birds those were his twins uh there's another one that's the son that bit him and he just he's more than happy to like share all of this with you you see around his um arm he has vines that are kind of tattooed Uh, and essentially he tells you like in their tribe, it's not a case of like exchanging rings. You get kind of tied together, like tying the knot, but, uh, they use branches and roots and it was, uh, because of, they were of the earth that it was very needed to be with the, that, you know, soil and dirt and life. So he hasn't like, he's bobbed and weaved like a few things and of course embellished but there's been nothing like he's malicious like, let me yeah. liquor this guy up so i can steal his shit right okay um you know uh ivan i'm from uh a place an island that sounds uh not similar uh to your home but uh close enough it might bring you some comfort. Uh, if you'd like to visit there, you are more than welcome. Islands. Um, tell me about this island. It is like um, the port city where the, the Hercules fight? Uh, it's not. No, it is not that island. Uh, it's a much smaller island that's kind of been forgotten in time. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop out of the pool and Mm -hmm. I'm going to go grab the map that I have in the bag of holding and kind of spread it out on the floor. Um, preferably if I could find a spot where I didn't like just step in water. Yeah. To get like like, a dry spot to flatten it, but it's still close where he's able to kind of lean over the ledge and and he's able to study it. Kind of gesture over to the island and I'll be like this. This is a very small island, kind of forgotten in time, um, and it's where I'm I'm from, where I've spent a lot of my time. So there is, you are more than welcome to come there, and it rains a lot. It's very uh, musty. It's got a got a, a lot of green, a lot of forest because of the rain. Um, so if musty you would like to come. Um, that is very kind of you. I'm donor. I, I appreciate it. And this may be my next stop on my journey. Yeah. Um, do me a favor and just kind of let me know before you show up. I will let you know before I show up. I am. I do that by a messenger or once again, I am, I am magic man, but I'm not the full magic man. Right. Uh, how about I say this? How, um, and he kind of looks, and he looks comparatively from where he's at, and he goes, "I give you like time frame." Okay. And you tell friends on or islands that within time frame there may be. If I make it, I mean, waters are always uh, unnerving. Right. Um, within three week time, I should uh, arrive. Or, or 
if you are so inclined. What if I take you there tomorrow? And you're not pulling my dick? I would never pull your dick. I would hope not. You have one hand. That's true. You wouldn't have another hand to be able to do anything else, so very exactly. preoccupied. Exactly. That sounds nice. Um, where would I be able to meet you? <sighs> meet me. I'm not very well versed in the city. Um, meet me by the remains of Ashford's laboratory. The, the industry, the plaza, I guess. Yeah, that one. Whatever's left of that. Uh, meet me there and we will we'll embark on this quest tomorrow. And he looks at you and there's a moment and he goes I feel like um I feel like there's something I need to. I, I haven't been completely honest, and you have been so kind. And uh, it, um, depending on your your outlook, of course, uh, it could be good, bad. Uh, please. And he kind of like splashes back to the water, like takes seat. And he goes, I don't want to be um, rude or put uh, any of your uh, your tribe. In danger. Um, I am. Um, I'm not like uh, anything that is here. I've looked. I've looked. And it is um, lonely. I feel like uh, endangered animal. <laughs> and he kind of looks and he goes, Where I'm from, I am. Uh, I'm usually, my tribe is haunted occasionally. Yeah, we fight back. And he goes, there are parts of me that I can't control all the time. There is, um, when the, um, when Ceylon, right? Yes, you have Ceylon here, I've, I've read. The moon, Ceylon. Right. I mean, he looks pained to tell you. You're a werewolf, right? I am Lupine, yes. Okay. Well, when was the last time you ate a person? And he thinks, and he goes, I would say few years um all intents and purpose um and he kind of shows you and you see that there are deep scars around his wrists and he goes i um i track and uh when i know it is coming i find remote location and i tie um only have broken out a few time um part of me still there still controlling but there is uh, instinct. Um, and he kind of looks and he goes, Lately it has been game deer, stag, occasional cow. Uh, definitely have been posters about monster. Um, but um, I, I have no desire to eat person. That is not who I am anymore. Uh, how do you feel about centaur? The, the uh, horsey people? Yeah, those are horsey people. Are there more than just horsey people around? Like yes. animals? Yeah. I can... I can keep very far away during those times. Um, if there is any kind of cave, I can put myself in. We We have some places where we can set up contingencies he kind of nods and he goes you are not um, off put by no Ivan uh, you you are not who you are on your worst day 
you don't you don't get to be that person all the time. You don't have to carry that burden. That is very kind of you to say. I also feel the need to be more honest with you if we are going to be um i mean no but also skin skin man you know he smirks trying to like ease the tension uh if we are going to be traveling together and you're going to visit the island where i spend a lot of time um i need to be clear about the island and me uh i did actually know what happened on valoria because i was there uh i am someone who is trying to fight uh everything that happened there and the island we are going to is the island of the storm and I feel like I don't need to say this last part. You're just kind of putting it together. And uh, he looks at the lack of arm and he goes, I thought Tyr didn't have a hand. Uh, that's because I'm not Tyr. Oh no, you're a super Tyr. Yes, I am super Tyr. Much better than normal shitty Tyr. And he kind of looks and he goes, I, um, there are stories, of course, and I tried to learn everything. Um, I'm guessing you are a son of Odin. Ah, yes, I am. So you are of, uh, Esgard. Yes. And he kind of looks and he smirks and he goes, looks at you and he goes, Misty Forest, Borovia. I've heard. Never been, but heard. So, while you guys are sitting in silence, what? Uh, you guys are in the middle of the Coppers game, and Danny Dorvito is losing, and he's mad, and he's <laughs> irate, and he's like, all right, you guys are fucking cheating, and I don't know how, but I'm going to find out, and I'm going to punch all you in your dicks. And you see you him, and he about? goes, Can you reach out dicks? again, and you see, ding! It just misses the fucking cup, and he's like, fuck! So do you have to pee sitting down because your aim is so bad? You're the first and I'm just gonna, gonna hold- get... I'm just gonna hold Danny back. I'm like, you're the first who's gonna get a gooch punch right in the fucking tear, right there. I'm gonna make it the any and outie. And Loki, seeing that Alda's holding him back, stands up and just goes, Come at me! You're and... at dick punching height. Yeah, but you can't reach because your arms are so short. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move my arm out of the way. Okay, great. Uh, give me one second because I haven't fully built Danny Dorvito. Because <laughs> uh, I, I didn't figure... expect you to have him built, but to be fair, I mean, uh, you don't have a stat block him. for Danny Dorfino? I should. I'm a fucking idiot over here. I mean, he is the trash man. He, so. the, he does. He lives in trash. Um, right. Right. Uh, okay. He's gonna he's gonna take a swing at the gooch. I'm just trying to find a good stat block for him. The gooch. We are across a table, aren't we? Yeah, he's gonna fucking move across the table. Okay. Gives me time to move out of the way. You can try to. Someone has pole on master. Someone does. Is your pole next to you? I imagine my stuff would be right next to me, yeah. Yeah, it'd be like around. So I grab it and I just poke it. It is monster dong. Oh, that's kind of perfect. Oh, God. Uh, he kind of like looks at you and as you kind of like stab at it. Let's see here. You see him kind of twist, and it kind of just moves over. And uh, let me see here. Well, I don't have a dice, so I'm just going to 
use this. And he's going, like I said, he's very fast for what he's like for his size and for what he is as a dwarf. Uh, you do see that he's completely just flushed red. Um, and he kind of hiccups. And that's all the deeds running. Got a 14, and I'm going to say his dex is plus three. I don't think that hits your AC, does it? No, just shy. Okay. And you see him kind of like punch one, and you kind of like swift. And he is going to do a... Um... Are you by anyone? Um, We're playing coppers, right? Yeah, so, so I guess which like... side... Three and three. He would be on the side of the table with all. Okay, Opposite so he's order. gonna he's gonna move, and his arm and fist are actually gonna kind of like bounce off of you. And um, Thok, are you wearing armor? Yes. You're wearing your cod piece. I would imagine so if I'm wearing my armor. Okay. He's fully armored. He's just dicks out. Dicks out for Blombe. He's got that sexy uh, armor. Obviously, 17 isn't going to hit you. No. But you do hear a clang, and the codpiece actually dents. As he goes... Mine? Yeah, your codpiece slightly dents from his fist. And he just kind of looks at his fist, and he goes, You have a metal cock. I mean, I could have told you that, but you didn't... cock a doodle do. <laughs> And he's going to do a flurry of blows. We call, and he goes, we call this the Popeye maneuvers. <laughs> or it's just a speed bag. I'm just going to say for brevity, like he clips you in the nads once, fuck. And he does one like minor kick to the inner thigh there, Loki. He's too kind of like drunk to, to aim. And he's not really aiming, but... He is fucking moving. Until I build a unicorn, he's going to be drunken monk for now. And he goes, I know all of you is cheating. You're covering your dicks. That's a dick move. You're cheating at coppers. After all I've done for you. And he looks at all of you and he goes, I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, it's a lot. It has been a while. And I'm just so happy to see all the, what his friends did think of cool. Hey, you guys want to get like more beers? That would be great. Hey. Like he just went through like the whole, the stages of like a drunk girlfriend. And he's like, I love you guys. Oh yeah. Love we you love too. you too. Oh, so much love. Real don't love. Don't my armor again. Yeah. Don't touch What's my up? dick again. I didn't get to. I know. I'll don't get do it you again. though. Ah, no, you won't. Ah. You won't though. You won't. And he looks at you, Alder, sober as fucking rock. He goes, "I'm gonna get him." <laughs> and then Loki looks at Alder and says, "I'm gonna let him." <laughs> Alder, go ahead and roll a history check for me. Oh boy. That is a yeet, natural 20. With your natural 20. Back in the day, during your time with Danny in the academy, um, you guys were younger. There was like a time where he was getting rustled up and he eventually punched a boy in the nut so hard that he became a eunuch. And on upon impact, he coughed up blood. <laughs> And he looks at you and he goes, It's not gonna work. But I'm gonna give him it. I'm gonna make him a girl. No, don't. Hey, don't do you like it. singing high? Because I got like a great, great strategy for you. I got I, a great thing. I've always thought that don't Bob my falsetto him. voice was the best voice I had. And then I'm just gonna look over at Danny and be like, Do not give him the gib. Do not. You sharp? Positive. You say the word and it's... Hi, Alder! Don't. Not the gib. Can be out of like a second hole because I'll have the drill one in his tummy. It, this then, is all in... And then who sits down when they pee? You'd be hey, laying down on your hey. chest. 
And Danny, like, you Danny. motherfucker, get off me. And he's just like, he stumbled into a coat rack, so he thinks people are like grabbing him, and he's like, you sons of bitches. And then uh, Loki looks at Thok and says, well, I guess Danny's out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What time is it anyway? It's like 8 p.m. <laughs> oh, where does the time fly? There's like not like there. It's still like people are not like going to bed. Like people are just coming in from like their shifts and like letting off steam. And there's a fucking drunk off his ass door fighting a coat rack. Well, I have to use the restroom. Thock. <laughs> you put your hand down. Thock. Eric? Eric. Yeah, let me help. And and my hand like, his... Looking at you, he's like, why are you holding his hand to go pee? Are you going to hold it for him too? In primordial, I'm just going to whisper him. I'll explain later. I thought just we trust. thought, and he says back in primordial, I thought we thought Alder was the cute one. No, he is. It's, no. The, it's not that? No. Oh, okay. Whew. It's a robbery thing. See, now I'm back to being confused. Go do the thing. Go do the thing. Okay. Have fun. Flirt with Alder. Just watch out for your hair. I was going to say, question. Your... Yeah. Question for the, the DM. Is Alder in Primordial still Alder? <laughs> no, it would be a different no, he said kind the of pretty one. one. <laughs> no, he oh, says that we thought Alder. Alder was the pretty one. Well, uh, no, just because I know if my name was Alder in Spanish, it's still Alder. <laughs> you know what? I'll Aldale. say for brevity, yes. He they say it like in a weird way, but you could definitely <laughs> <remember> Alder. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna look over to Timber and be like, "Why'd you guys say my name?" We think your friend's weird. I mean, I'm well aware of that, but that's not my name. We said Alder's, Alder's friend. friend is weird. Go ahead and roll an insight check. Because you're suspicious. Don't be and you want to know that you're the cute suspicious. one. You already know you're the cute one. Oh, I rolled like crap, a 13. Riley, roll. Is this versus anything I roll? Deception check. Oh, fuck. Not great. Uh, 16. Tipperin also got a 16. Oh. And they just kind of look at you. You need new friends. And yeah, current company included. And he looks over at Loki. And Loki just yeah. smiles. Okay, let me go to the yeah. bathroom with Loki. I love you. Love you too. Love you. What? <laughs> and you. Danny's like, you son of a bitch. You said you lo I'm just kidding. And he gets up and he's like, I kicked that thing's ass though. And you see that yeah. the coat rack is just fucking splintered. <laughs> yeah, you really told Talbots what's what. Yeah, you know, he said something about my mother, I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't speak coat rack. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I know I fought a coat rack. I play. It's called the long corn. Because those oh, gotcha. guys thinks I'm so fucking drunk that I fought a coat rack. When really, when you say the word, you give like the little wink, the whistle. Falsetto forever. Again, what you did to Barry when we were in school is not good. He started Don't an acapella group called Nothing But Treble. He had a great career. Don't give him they the They made gift. shirts. I know they made shirts. I still have mine. Do you have yours? I can get I you might... like a new one. They did a tour. Oh, God. It might be at my parents. I'm not sure. Anyways. Uh... Oh, how is your parents? Your mom's still hot? I think he said that last time, too. He did. <laughs> he did say he that, did last, say that time. last time. Uh, anyway. And I'll be like, that's the second time you said it today, so... I got Cutting one more. you off. Cutting you I off. I got one more. You get three strikes and then you're out. No, no. You get two strikes Your right now because it's my mom. It. <laughs> done. You're done. See, I'm good. And I'm happy. You're happy. Your father's not happy, but your mom's happy. <laughs> uh, smash Danny, cut get to the... the fuck out of here, Danny. Smash cut to the bathroom. What are we doing? So Loki does leave lead Thok into the bathroom. Um, I assume there's a trough 
that would be like urinals. It would be. I was just gonna. You can full disclosure. Do I need to pan to the fireplace at some point? No, 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 no. Unless. I mean, there could be a. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, so not inside the group. I mean, unless you wanted to. Yeah, unless Stock was into it. But no, no, not in the group. No, you just, you just wanted to watch. Let's just save the world first, and then we'll see. Anyway, we go to the bathroom, and Loki does just go to the bathroom and starts talking to Thok. Um, so he goes, zip, flop. Okay, so <laughs> this is all well and good. Oh, okay, this is, this is what we're going to do. Oh, this. yeah, I wasn't kidding. Yeah, I really you have to go. You immediately look down, and you're like, okay, I've just seen Loki's dick. Yeah. Oh. That's nice. Thank you. So, yes. So I just go up next to him, I guess. And... Have you ever seen a monster energy can? But it's like one of those like 20 ounce ones. It's like the big one that has like the top on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's two of those. <laughs> <laughs> and, he's... and there's just one vein that just it like, unfolds how... from the center. <laughs> it's like... And he's, you're like, and I wonder how Tiburon is not sitting down all the time. Yeah, so this is all well and good. Jesus, Tiburon. <laughs> so. I'm not Tiburon, I'm Thog. I, I know. I'm saying, how does he handle it? Anyway, so this is all fun, <laughs> but we really have to worry about that, that, that heist, that ring. Tinkle, I tinkle, know. Tinkle, when, tinkle. when are we going? I don't know what time shops close. I'm not that drunk. And and yeah. Loki makes a face. Are you sure? <laughs> do I need to sober you up? You can do that. Yeah. Oh. I ah. Mean, it's a, it's a mild lesser restoration, and alcohol acts like poison. You pretty much lesser restore and. You're good. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So if the shops are open tonight, then yes, that would be great. And um, I don't know. I think tonight might be the night. It's it's not. It's only eight, right? This is a big city. Cities are open, what, until at least ten, perhaps twelve, perhaps. Cities are usually open until two. Fourteen. They're open until fourteen. Yes. Okay. So we got plenty of time. Yeah, but. Shops aren't usually open that way. You just well, it depends on the city, I guess. You just said, and Loki takes his hand off of his dick, so it's just like flopping around. Oh no, no, no! So, should we do it tonight, or what do you think? You know the city better than I do. Not by much. Yeah, but still more. Plus, then if you make the wrong choice, it's on you, not me. Oh, cool. Thanks. I guess we should wait until tomorrow because then the closer it is for us piecing out, the less likely they'll find what we're stealing. Yeah, acquiring. And Loki looks around. Is is anyone in the bathroom? Yeah, so the, stealing, yes. No, there isn't. Okay, cool. So stealing. Okay, tomorrow it is. You say about, what, broad daylight's probably good too? Oh, yeah. Nobody ever expects anything in the middle of the day. They always think you're going to rob a place at night. Okay, perfect. It's easier to meet someone's nose. All right, so we'll have a nice hearty lunch preceded by a good breakfast with a drink or two in the middle, and then 2 o'clock we'll do some... He looks around. Five finger discount. There is no one there. Stealing. <laughs> and then we'll be good to go. And then you just hear a high-pitched flush, and then Absidy comes out, and he goes, I hear you doing a heist, boys. <laughs> no! <laughs> just kidding. I put it back in. Loki's still going. It's like, all right, cool. So can you get out now so I can pee? You've been peeing. No, it looks like I've been peeing. Did you forget that I'm an illusionist? <laughs> Fine. Wash your hands. You're as not I my dad. Walk out. My dad's as I dead. Out, as I walk out without washing my hands. And as soon as the door closed, you hear, Psst-tee! <laughs> as the pee finally starts to go. On that note, I'll be right back. See, it's the pee for real. It wasn't an illusion. <laughs> wasn't an illusion. Mm. Uh, so we'll, we'll cut back over to uh, Thor and I then. Um, eventually the two of you 
finish your your soak and he kind of like looks out and uh he sees that it is uh it's nightfall he goes night is still uh still young uh, if you're um not busy want to keep party going if not perfectly fine as well i mean i should probably meet up with my group at some point in time uh there oh, your tribe yeah, oh. my tribe. His brother there. Uh, yeah, he is. You, I mean, you don't think uh, me rude if um, I kind of want to see uh, how one armed man punches brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, no offense. I have belly. I mean, we we both have handicap. Yeah, no, none taken. Uh. A public display kind of feels like a good way to get arrested, uh, and oh yeah, no, there uh, there no nonsense about uh, criming here. I mean, uh, I've seen quite a bit of uh, people in the streets getting like pummel because adventurers think they're big dick, so they you know they swing back and forth. But uh, eh, no, they're uh, brutal, ruthless. So right. maybe not the best idea. Probably do like indoor. Um, I mean, when we get back to the Island of Storms, it's my island, so I'm not going to throw myself in jail. That is fair. So, tag along a little longer, and you will see how a one-armed man beats the shit out of his brother. I would like to see that very much, so yes. Perfect. Uh... I will find out where they are, and you are welcome to join me if you'd like. I'm not doing anything bad, but, um, and he puts on, like, these very common clothes and just very, like, wavy, easy breezy, essentially, like, the, like, really nice sweats, like, joggers, the equivalent of joggers and, like, a nice, flowy, big, baggy t-shirt. And the butt says juicy for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it says juicy couture. Um... <laughs> And uh, eventually he, like, scratches back of his head and he goes, this has been the, uh, this has been the very nice one. Like I said, it's been quite some time since I've had nice, such a nice night, you know? Well, uh, I was, thank you for letting me get some of those uh, frustrations off my chest. Uh, it was very nice speaking with you and I'm, I'm glad we can bring you to the Island of Storms and uh, get you at least feeling a little less homesick than you are currently. Hopefully same with you, son of Odin. Uh, you can you can just call me Thor. It's it's fine. Okay, Thor. Uh, give me one second and I'll put the necklace back on. I would have taken okay. it all off. And I'm going to push it. I'm just going to say, uh, hello... Uh, where are you, you guys at right now? Yeah, I'll look at her. So as you're getting that communication out, I'll say it's around the time that Loki finishes peeing and Thok has already gone back to the table and uh, Danny and Alder and Tibrin are just kind of hanging out, making chit chat as you hear Donner. Oh yeah, no, we just broke the seal. Where? In the bathroom. Where you break the seal. In what establishment, guys? Oh, uh, Alder, what's the name of this place again? Alder, you have your full list? Yeah, let me bring that up so I can remember which place we're at. Um, it's called the Pissing Bronco? <laughs> no, it wasn't the Pissing Bronco. It's the Pissing Omaha. No, oh, okay. Um, it's so wasted. He doesn't remember. No, here it is. Um, I remember I went to. I, I picked one that had a funny name. Um, the Dugly oh. Uckling. Oh no, we're at the shame table. The ashamed Betty. table. That's where we're at. <laughs> that was right. 
Uh, I remember I picked one with a funny name. Thor will take his hand off the necklace and just go, uh, Ivan, do you know where the ashamed table is? And he looks at you and you see a smirk and he goes, the friends are real pieces of shit, huh? And he kind of slaps you on the back and he goes, come. And uh, uh, Thor will look up and just go, the absolute shittiest, apparently. Uh, and on my way out, do I catch Mousy Girl's yeah. eye? Uh, I'm gonna and she's put... just relaxing. She's like reading a book. She's in like a nice little comfy like silk kimono thing. Like it says closed on the door. Like it's like she's having a day off, but she's getting paid to have a day off. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna walk up to her. Uh, thank you for setting this up for me and my friend. Is this your establishment? Do you own uh, the Careful River? Uh, my family does, but um, I'm in charge of it. We we own. I wouldn't say it's a franchise, but uh, we have a few different bathhouses on different uh, areas. Well, this was uh, a pleasure. Thank you for having me, and uh, I hope to be back here soon. I hope to have you back here as well. Ask for Lita. Uh, absolutely, I will. Thank you, Lita. You have a, a wonderful night. You too. And she goes, don't forget your sledgehammer. Oh, right. And I'll just put my hand out. And boom. And she kind of looks and she's amused and she goes, that's very cool. And Ivan goes, he is a magic man. Uh, yeah, I have some, I've been known for some magic. Uh, and I'll, I'll say, if you like that one here, look at this one. And I'll go to hand the hammer to Ivan. And he goes, Looks at you. You know, I've always wanted to, uh, to try this. Yeah. And he puts a it lot under of your do. hand. And you let go, and that fucker just crashes down, and he goes, mm. Just one moment. Hey. And you see his heels just digging into the fucking floorboards, and he goes, Nope. <sighs> can't, uh, can't move it. Well, now I know. Knowing is half the battle, and I'll just put my hand above it and call it up. And I'll gesture again to Lita. Thank you, and you have a lovely evening. Oh, I think you're muted. She she smiles and she goes, "You as well, Donna." Ivan. He kind of salutes. And uh, we'll walk out and I'll just be like, all right, uh, to the ashamed table. Fucking idiots. Fucking idiot typer babies. Um, he kind of goes and he goes, we'll take uh, scenic route. Uh, that way, we still have time to uh, take in the much better taverns. And you can wish you were there when we get to the uh, ashamed table. Perfect. I'm all about experience. <laughs> wonderful so i'll say within like 20 or so minutes you guys kind of take your time and uh ivan is excitingly telling you about like the different places like oh i punched the guy right here yeah he was saying something uh about my smell said i smelled like wet dog of course he doesn't know wet dog but that is still insulting so i punched him in the mouth and cracked jaw uh, very nice wife very nice she make cookies like she feel bad for me and that is my charm Oh, here. If you're going to join us at the uh, the Island of Storms, you have to go through a rite of passage. And I'm going to reach into the bag of holding. Okay. Oh, hold on. I have it in my phone. Where? Okay. Because you know I am married man, yes? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, me too. And I'm going to pull out uh, a cask of Asgardian ale. I'm going to put it in the middle of the street, reach in, find like a horn scoop it out of the cask close it up put it back and everything and give him the asgardian ale and uh, or like a, a a glass full of the asgardian ale or horn yeah. and uh be like before you drink that 
it's just straight down the street to the ashamed table, right? And he looks at you and he goes, uh, it is the one that has the uh, table with the uh, four legs, but the uh, the fourth one is broken in half. Perfect. Uh, and I look up, no, no, no moons to worry about. And he looks at you and he goes, if there was a, because uh, he notices you looking around, he goes, if it were like that, uh, I wouldn't be here right now. Perfect. Uh, drink that and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, um, cheers to you, Yomavul. Drink, and it's one long kind of chug, and you see the dripping uh, kind of go down his um, mouth, and he lets go, and he looks at you, and his eyes are already starting to glaze over, and he goes, that kind of tastes like, and doosh. And I'll prop him up with my only arm and will like slowly trudge our way to the ashamed table looking now more like patrons that would go there exactly and he's like no pitan you this is why we have so many uh just little shit like that as eventually the five of you see Donner with a very drunk uh, he looks like you know slobby kind of like beer gut and he's just fucking shit face and his feet are like dragging he's not walking with Donner Donner is literally dragging walking him over and he is just like that and uh, Donner comes up um, I'm sorry what the who'd you kill Oh, he, he's not he's not dead he's uh his name's ivan he's a friend of mine we met at the careful river uh kind of a bathhouse <laughs> down the down the way a little bit uh he's gonna be joining us on the island of storms and probably for other stuff too did you buy a person i did not buy a person we are now friends I didn't see one on the shopping list. Why is he knocked out then? I just gave him a horn of Asgardian ale. So you killed him? Uh, yeah, with the- He's not- tried he's to. not- He's breathing. He's not, tried to. he's not dead. He's just overwhelmingly inebriated. If you're gonna come on the Island of Storms, you have to have had some alcoholic beverage of Asgard. You've all had it, so... Oh, that's a good head. selling point. You must be drunk in order to come into our gotta island. You gotta be fucking plastered. Um, that's the only way to convince you to come. Doc, do me a favor and roll a uh, insight check. On um, Ivan. Oh my god. 28. Oh. <laughs> okay. You so know his entire character. life story. <laughs> he was born in a log cabin. I was gonna say that. Um... <laughs> You're able to study him, and you see through, like, his shirt, he has these very thick scars, and obviously he has a very noticeable scar across his face. But with your insight check and your medical knowledge, most scars are just kind of, like, cut, they're stabbed, they're bitten. This one seems to be almost like it's stretched and broke out. Do I recognize this from, have I seen this before from my travels? You have way back when, about 10 years ago, when there was a tribe that you had aligned yourself with that were covered in, I would say similar scars. And you do get the faint waft of wet dog. Hey, that's racist. Very faint. You can't say that. We can say that. <laughs> it's all good. I, I look at Donner. Do I remember whether or not you speak Primordial? Have I spoken to you in Primordial? I can't I don't, remember. I don't think so. No, I'll say it in common. I'll be like, so who's, who's your new friend? Uh, I told you his name is Ivan. 
and he is overwhelmingly inebriated at the moment. Ivan's not from around here, huh? He is not. Are you aware? Very well. Okay. I trust you. And Tibbern just kind of looks and he goes, What? Nothing. Okay. I'm going to walk over to Tibbern uh, real quick and say, I have something for you, by the way. Uh, and I'm going to walk over to him and I'm going to place down, I'm going to reach into the bag of holding and place down on the table in front of him my mace of smiting. And he looks at it and he goes, well, you shouldn't have. This is, and he picks it up and You know, if you're going to be with us, if you're going to fight with us, you need something that's not a crossbow. And I'm not going to use that, because I have this. So, who better to use this than you? And looks at it and goes, <clears throat> that's fair, thank you. Thank you, Thor, that's really nice of you. Of, of course. Think nothing of it. Uh, also... Just wait. You will be getting a nice horn of Asgardian ale shortly. Yeah, I mean, I've been on the fucking island for, what, three months and I haven't had one drop? <sighs> it's not There's a reason. I was indisposed. I'm just busting shops. And then I'm gonna pull Thor to the side and discuss with him the stuff that I talked with Loki and Thok and everyone about earlier. Okay, you, I mean, you don't really have to, like, pull them aside. You're able to, like, reiterate lowly at the table of the, the three uh, events, we'll call them. Um, which, yeah, just to, to reiterate, is the Grave Robbing Cemetery, the Fishing Village, and the Decimated Forests. And the Shrieking from the Mountain. Yep, that's the Decimated Forests. Got it. Oh, that's the same thing as the forest? Mm-hmm. Correct. So three, not four. Correct. Yeah, Correct. well, there was a fourth Correct. one, but the fourth one is has been taken care of. Got it. Do you at least know it, though? Yeah, it's, uh, there was a, uh, an orc thing in the mountains, like a tribe of orcs that were, uh, killing any, anything that went near it. I heard a um, small boy and an army of bears took them down. Allegedly. Yeah, that's what legend says. Weird. A boy in the army of bears. Was we'll the explain, boy the bear? We'll explain later. We'll explain later. Was he the bale? Yes, because <laughs> like supply. <laughs> I was here all along. I told you. I'm still the big bad boy. I'm still the big bad. You guys can't do this. <laughs> uh, I will kind of look at the group and just say, well, my gut says to go to the fishing town because people are are dying and if there's an army of dead to be raised a whole island of people seems like a little bit of a problem well, it's, they are raised or they're going to be raised well we watched Monutep raise that whale that we knew was not alive so the more people that are dead, the harder time we're going to have fighting whatever kind of army he raises. Yeah. In my opinion. What's everybody else think? I mean, I can get through undead pretty well, but it all depends how strong the undead presence is. Anything like a zombie or whatnot. I mean, we have to assume that we're getting stronger. He's, He's got to be. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I will say I'm concerned about a large shadowy figure doing anything in the mountains, so that one piqued my interest. I mean, you know I'm all about anything with the seas, so the fish thing. 
I'm just concerned about the thing that's meddling with other gods' business. It seems real ominous for things that have been going on. And that does tie in with... And Loki takes a big sigh and says, Duke. And takes a drink. Yeah. DM, I can't remember. Have I talked to Donner? Not not Donner, what the hell am I saying? Rufio? Rufio. Uh, Rufio since. Duke. Um... I would say no, because that was during the incursion of Valoria. Um, however, Fear had communicated with Rufio regarding Duke, if I remember correctly, and it didn't go well. Okay. You are correct. I remember that. Well, like I mentioned before, I know someone who is a... Is it a patron? No, patron is the god of... A follower. Uh, a follower of the Raven Queen. So I could Whoa. attempt to reach out to him, but I don't know how well he is at the moment because he was actually very close to Duke, like related blood. I understand that and feel for him and his loss but if there's anyone that's going to know what might be going on it should be a follower of the Raven Queen no? You would think It's worth a shot sense. Yeah I mean I can give it a shot I don't think this is the right place for it though No I would wait until we get back to wherever it is we're staying tonight yeah and then like knowing the anticipation that i'm gonna have to call rufio i'm gonna chug the rest of my drink okay and Tibbern kind of looks at everyone and he goes so i mean right still young you had an end or Oh, Alter, are we staying at your house? And Danny just kind of perks up and he goes, Yeah, I mean, you got all those guest rooms. I'm Danny. sorry, I, I, we haven't, we've not met. I'm, I'm Thor. And he goes, Danny Dorvito. <laughs> uh, also nice. known as the trash man. Just call me, I, it's Danny's fine. Uh, no, nice to meet you, Danny. Uh, are you from around here? Do you know... Older. Oh man, me and Alda go way back. I mean, I could tell you stories. I started to, and then he got like mad because he does that. Um, yeah, I'm aware of that as well. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, we did uh, years, years. And he looks at you. And he kind of like says this, and he goes, <laughs> "Really." Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. you. Say that. I, I appreciate your information. I'm and, full of useless, uh, I mean, useful, useful information. And uh, how loudly did he say that? Since obviously, <laughs> as, you, pretty, as, as you mimic that, uh, it was pretty I, fucking loud. Okay. It was like um, talk whispering. I, I look over, I'll be like, we're not going to be staying with my folks tonight, Danny. Thank you. Um, we're going to be staying oh, at no, Ashley's. Oh, heard me. What are we saying? We are staying at Ashford's. Danny, you, you, you're going to fuck off to your own place. All this time. <laughs> broke my heart. Gets up on the table and kisses you. You broke my heart. Nah, I'm fucking with you. When are you guys leaving? Uh, tomorrow to go back to base. Yeah. <laughs> No, I just want to make sure I say goodbye to, uh, say goodbye, uh, to, uh, oh, there's Princess more. Jasmine over here. Because green. Right. Uh, I mean, I would at least think Alda would bring me home to show me off to his parents, but I guess I'm not that lucky. He's a so shame. embarrassed. Hot mom doesn't, I mean, mom doesn't like a lot of uh, <laughs> people that he brings home. What? 
<laughs> I'm being respectful. Your mom's a fucking smoke show. It's six times now. You're done. Get, Get out of here. so mad about it. That's what's so funny about it. That's kind Get of out of here, Danny. Do. All right, I'm going. <laughs> Danny, before you leave, how did Alder used to, like, season his pine cones? Is it, like, salt and pepper, or is it, like, how does he like them? He, looks he roasts at, them over a, a, an open flame, or... He looks at the three of you, looks at Alder, looks back at you, and he goes, lemon pepper. <laughs> I knew it! I write it down in my book. <laughs> and he goes, your mom's hot. That's seven. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I like him. He's. He should come with us. He should. No, come he's good, he's good people. I just didn't want. He's so creepy around my mom. I don't want him in that. We can we can go stay at my mom's at my at my folks' house tonight if you'd like. Um, I just wanted to give him the rub and get him out of here so he doesn't call my mom hot to her face yes, again. I heard your mom's really hot. I swear to Christ, if you do that. I mean, he's your brother, I, so... I mean, I heard your mum is hot. And I'm old enough to be your father, so... You also want to be weird. a royal stepson? Also <laughs> weird. Oh my God. Also, no. My I mom's just kind of wakes up with... and goes, make sure she's not stuck in the washing machine. I don't know what <laughs> that either. means. What are you doing, pseudo son? Prone position washing clothes, very vulnerable for mounting. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we'll just go back to Ashford tonight. <laughs> no, he's not that hot. I'm one of the guys now. Ivan is one of the guys now. Seriously, though, what? if you call my mom hot, I will let him give you the gib. I don't know what that means. No, Loki knows what that means. <laughs> It's everything you ever say for the future. <clears throat> Sounds like that. As you hit a really high note, Ivan kind of wakes up and he goes, Ah, what was that? It's the gib. Be careful. Ah. Ow. Welcome Ivan. back. Oh. That Asgardian ale has an aftertaste, don't it? Ah. Yes, it, uh, but it is quite pleasant. Is that um, honey, orange peel, jasmine flower? Uh, I think lemon pepper. No, no not that, pepper. That's... Definitely citrus, though. That's, Definitely. A, that's a different thing, Thuck. That's a different thing. Oh. And he kind of like looks around and he goes, it, it, It's going to take a, a hot minute, but hangover will be gone soon. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, this is Alda, Thuck. And my brother Loki. Privet. Nice to meet you. Good to meet uh, you. Uh, Ivan. And he looks at all of you and he goes and looks over at Loki, goes, You are a brother, Loki, yes. Uh yes, I am. Looks you up and down, he goes, Look very tall. And I look him up and down and say, You look very and he takes a drink <laughs> and just waits for everyone to forget I'll finish Loki's he's sentence. still staring at you waiting for you to finish because he doesn't get the social cue I'll look at and finish Loki's sentence and when he says you look very I'll wait a couple seconds and say Barovian and his ear kind of twitches thought we were gonna say fat <laughs> no I've met way fatter people and he kind of rude. smiles and he goes, you know, he told you I'm from Barovia? No. Oh. And he kind of like leans forward and he's like, how do you know you've been? I've been. And he kind of looks at you through your eyes and he goes, I'm sorry if you had a very unpleasant experience. It wasn't your doing. My curiosity is how did you get out? Don't know. Ten years ago, I, I was with my tribe in the uh, my pack. And he looks over at, 
at Thorin. He can kind of guess already. And uh, he goes, I was in, um, with my pick, I was hunting for my uh, my pick, and uh, I was covered in this uh, thick mist. About ten years ago, and um, I ended up in the t- <laughs> middle of desert. Very rude awakening. Sand is not fun. It gets no. everywhere, and then, ugh, don't get me started on the, when I shift in the head. Fleas? Awful. Murder. Yeah. You know? I can, I can imagine. Awful. W- were you there when the castle was raided ten years ago? I was, um... You were at the castle. I was. I was one of the people spearheading it. I didn't look like... Well, I looked more like this. And I look around to see if any other patrons are paying attention to us at all. No, everyone's kind of in their own shit. And I'll go to Great Cleric Fock. Look. With the hat of disguise. And he kind of smiles and he goes, You are the, uh, the other green one. Yeah. Not the, not the one. No, no. <laughs> not shit. Sorry, shark. Not that one. And I'll revert back. And he kind of smiles and he goes, I was um, much younger than 30, um, 35. That's what I am now. <laughs> that is what I was. 45 is, I'm thinking about getting something like red, like vehicle, going through crisis. That was joke. Um, and he goes, I feel like, uh, yes, I was there for Castle, and I was after Castle, it was back to business as usual. I was not part of that tribe. Uh, there was a uh, shaky, um, there were a lot of uh, I don't want to say the word evil. There was an evil uh, tribe. There was the uh, righteous tribe. Uh, I believe Alpha. Their Alpha got weakling. Um, and he goes, my, I would say uh, we were more of the earth as opposed to we had that we kill. No, the earth give us life, give us food it gives us stag it gives us uh, deer and you can see like he's getting more animated as you can tell the hangover is just gone uh if you all want to make a nature check oh god 11 nat 20 17 zero <laughs> that one for a zero uh i'll say everyone like a fifth above a 15 you can kind of guesstimate. Um, essentially, he has some kind of healing factor. So, you know, he goes through that stage. He has that hangover. Eventually, his body does start to heal itself. Uh, just kind of off the body heat that he's also radiating. Um, but he goes, that is story for another time. I mean, we are, we are out here now. We are in... Fresh air. Well, no, not fresh air. This is uh, unstable. Table. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. But um, I look at him and I extend my hand and do one of those shakes and just say thank you for everything 10 years ago and to new new lives and new beginnings. Grabs your forearm and he goes, pleasure, honor is mine. So, I'll say as the forearms grasp um you guys have a brilliant nice time and then are we going back to alder your parents or are you going to ashford's i don't know what does the group want to do what what do you think you'd prefer i'll say like around like 11 or 12 this is when you guys are deciding when to, to head in we're probably closer to ashford's based on that we chose uh yeah terrible choice by the way ivan's taken me to some other places that were really nice this place is a shithole they are nicer places 
Yeah, by like um, a lot. Oh, uh, old. Uh... I mean, don't judge a book by its cover. It's that's pretty I good. Not, no, I'm we're pretty in the, the book. book at this point, and it's Def fucking terrible. Definitely judge this one. Wow. Oh. I, I picked what I picked on purpose. Uh... Alder hates himself. And I'll look at <laughs> Ivan and say that to him. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. And he goes. Uh, I want to drink. That. I mean, it is. Um, this uh, laboratory. So Ashford is not dead. No, Ashford's not dead. Uh, he's working with us to assist us with an issue. Where's the closest in? One that doesn't look like this, Ivan. Uh, and he kind of looks at you, Alder, and he goes, I don't have the list of uh, ends, but he kind of looks and he goes, uh, there should be a nice one uh, a few blocks from here, yeah? Uh, what is uh, the name of it? I, uh, it's always tip of tongue. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. As you guys are kind of like walking through the street and, you know, shops are starting to, to close out and um, the different like enchanted um, lights and sconces that are all Ashford industry owned, uh, they all slowly kind of dim as it gets, the, the nightlight is slowly dying out. It's a weekday. Yeah, I'll probably go to the, uh, the Diamond Giant Inn. I am giant yeah. in, and he kind of does this, and he goes, "What the bag over here?" So I mean, you wanted nicer. <clears throat> I mean, so I fuck. I mean, I, I think you get your own fluffer there when you're there, right? <laughs> I heard fluffer, or at least someone put the mouth on your penis. Yeah, at least. Uh, Older, can you lead us there? I'm. I would rather not sleep in a laboratory tonight, um, or near your hot, hot mom. You know, He'd rather sleep with someone's home. mouth on his penis. Yeah, I could take a mouth. I'll lead the way. Okay. As the six of you stagger, we will close it for the evening. And with that, another episode down. Woohoo! Episode 71 in the books. Guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Junk Drawer. Dang. Uh, we greatly appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We greatly appreciate you guys giving us, uh, or working with us while we kind of sort life out and everything. It has been much, much appreciated that we're still getting follows and people to watch and everything. So you're all wonderful and amazing, and we appreciate that you guys are with us in this journey. Uh, Speaking of individuals with us in this journey, Josh, would you like to read some people that are in our chitty chat? Yeah. Chitty chat. All right. In the chitty chat tonight, uh, us, Gandalf the Babe. <laughs> um, hey. Joint Effort, J Velez 1199, Maddie and Son, Shwarma Chameleon. Thank you all. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us. We will be back next week, the following week, another week. We'll be back eventually. Just keep an eye on all those social medias Mike posted about and talked about earlier. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please wear your mask if you're not vaccinated. If you're not vaccinated, get vaccinated. Wear your fucking mask. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you all back here next time. Bye. Bye.